Time is running out for some nuclear power plants. Due to uh, the lowering gas prices, it really is a very uh, difficult market to run a nuclear power station. Across the country, a growing number of power plants have shut down or are set to retire, the latest being the Vermont Yankee plant and Pilgrim Station in Massachusetts. As one industry declines, another one is ramping up. Nuclear demolition and waste management companies have gone on a buying spree for old nuclear power plants, promising to swiftly clean up radioactive mess, store spent fuel, and dismantle contaminated buildings. So we've got uh, a large staffing pool of, of decommissioning experts, and we, we expect we could actually do as many as six of these projects concurrently uh, just in the normal course of business. North Star Group Services and Holtec International are two of the leading companies set to capitalize on the deteriorating nuclear industry. The companies promised to decommission the plants in eight years rather than the 60 years previous owners required to make the site safe for other uses. Holtec's recent acquisitions, including Pilgrim Station, still need final approval from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Citizens groups have raised concerns about the company's qualifications. We care that we are not stuck with the bill Okay, and we also care that the site is properly cleaned up so that public health, safety, and the environment are protected. In an email to the Associated Press, a spokeswoman said Holtec is committed to the ownership of nuclear power plants to safely and efficiently decommissioning the facilities and ensure that land can be returned to productive use. North Star CEO Scott State said his company has resolved similar concerns in Vermont. Solutions include splitting the project into smaller segments and only using funds set aside for decommissioning to pay for work that's already done. Uh, we've also placed some, some specialty insurance products that if in fact we find unknown unknowns, uh, we can call on insurance to fund uh, cleanup of that sort of activities. Paul Gunter of the anti-nuclear group Beyond Nuclear says nuclear decommissioning is complicated by the lack of a national nuclear waste dump site. These facilities were licensed without a, a long-term management plan for the nuclear waste and it was always uh, somebody else was going to be taking care of that. Paving the way for an industry focusing on decommissioning reactors. David Martin, The Associated Press.